Hello everyone. My name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will explain you what to learn to become a DevOps engineer. There are so many tools and technologies in DevOps. Of course, DevOps is a culture, but as part of DevOps engineering, you will come across a lot of tools and technologies. So often people get confused. Abhishek, what are the mandatory things or what are the important things that I need to learn to become a DevOps engineer and what is the order? So in this video, without wasting any time, I will explain in the most easy way and in a very crisp way, what are the things that you need to learn to become a DevOps engineer in order? So let's get started and not waste any time. Number one, understand what is DevOps? What DevOps engineer does on a day to day basis? That is, what is the role of a DevOps engineer and how DevOps engineer fits into the software development lifecycle? This is step one. Step two, don't worry, I'll also share resources towards the end of this video. But right now, just focus on what I'm telling. Number two, understand what exactly is virtualization. You don't need to go into the details of Linux. Right now, a lot of people are on the public cloud platform. So once you learn all of these things, then you can proceed with the details. You can go into the details of Linux and all things. But firstly, just understand what is Linux? What is virtualization? And how to create a virtual machine? I will recommend this as step two because most of the times as a DevOps engineer, you deal with applications that are deployed in Linux environments and probably in your organization, you might be assigned with a Mac or a Linux laptop. So it is important to get hands on on Linux, be Linux friendly. So this is my step two: learn virtualization, then learn how to connect to a virtual machine on any public cloud platform. Number three, start with shell commands and basics of shell scripting. That is how to create a file, how to switch uh, to a directory, how to create directories. Just like how you use Windows machine efficiently, you need to become that efficient in using Linux machines. So start with basic shell commands. And once you learn basic shell commands, you will be able to write basic shell scripts, such as a shell script to fetch the information about your virtual machine, such as the CPUs, RAM, what is the usage, all such basic things. Number four, learn about version control system and the popular one in the market that is Git. Git has, or there are a lot of distributions that are based on Git, such as GitHub, GitLab, Bitbucket, so many things. Pick up any one thing. I would prefer GitHub. So just learn Git, the concept of Git and GitHub. Number five, Ansible. I will place Ansible at number five because you already learned what is a Linux virtual machine. You have experience on Windows. You have some experience on how to connect to virtual machines by this time. So Ansible will be a right fit because Ansible is about automating some packages configuration on Linux and uh, Windows machines. So you will be able to understand Ansible at this point of time and you will be able to understand how to use Ansible. What are the advantages of it? Number six, understand the concept of CICD, continuous integration and continuous delivery. Again, this is one of the most important part of DevOps engineer's life because as a DevOps engineer, you will take part in the continuous integration and delivery process to improve the release efficiency of your organization. This is just one part. Using CICD, you can do a lot of things. But at this point of time, understand what is CICD and understand how to write basic CICD systems. All these times, I was only talking about basics because my personal recommendation, first focus on the basics, then go towards the advanced. At the beginning of it, do not go to any advanced concepts because DevOps concepts are very interlinked. And if you try to learn a particular tool in depth, you will get lost and you might even lose interest in DevOps. That's why cover all the basics. Then I will talk about the advanced. 
Here, the tool that I explained at number six is CICD. Number seven, understand containers. So we learned about virtual machines. Then there is something called containers, which will improve the process of shipping applications, the process of effectively using the compute resources. There is a technology called container and concept called containers. And the popular choice in the market is Docker. Other option is Podman. So you can pick Docker and using Docker, just try to play with the containers, how to create images, containers. Again, just learn all the concepts of Docker and containers at the basic level, then move towards Kubernetes. So Kubernetes is container orchestration environment, which is the popular one in the market at this point of time. I think there is almost like 60 to 70 percent of the organizations might be using Kubernetes at this point of time, even startups. So it will be one of your primary qualifications as a DevOps engineer. Number nine is Terraform. So Terraform, actually I could have placed it after Ansible, but I've seen a lot of people struggling with Terraform. That's why I would like to place it at the end. Initially in my zero to hero course, I placed Terraform right after Ansible. I think I placed it very well, but still, uh, you might follow this order uh, if you find Terraform difficult. So number nine on my list is Terraform. Number 10 is cloud provider. Here you can pick up AWS or Azure. I'm not against GCP or I'm not against Oracle Cloud, DigitalOcean, IBM Cloud. But to be very, very honest, like you can do your own research as well. Most of the job market is with AWS and Azure. Not the job market, most of the market is with AWS and Azure. GCP might be picking up, but still it lags very behind with AWS and Azure. You might feel that, okay, I will learn GCP. There are less number of jobs. There is less number of competition. But if you have less number of job calls, then you might get less number of interviews. If you get a couple of interviews in a month, you might get demotivated. But Otherwise, I'm not against GCP. You can also learn GCP. The only reason why I prefer AWS or Azure, this is the reason. In future, I might make videos on GCP as well, but this will still be my saying. In 2024, better go with AWS or Azure if you are a beginner. So these are the 10 things and learn all of them in the basic order. After that, go with the advanced in the same order. You can go with the advanced of understanding Linux, advanced of understanding uh, shell scripting, advanced of understanding Git, advanced understanding of Ansible. Just go with the same order. First cover the basics in the same order, then go with the advanced in the same order. Now you might ask me, Abhishek, where, I, where can I find these things? Of course, there are so many resources on the internet, but even I have dedicated playlists and the advantage is that I have placed everything in the order and everything is available for free with interview questions. Notes is available for AWS and Azure if you want to pick up any of these cloud platforms. For DevOps, there are notes for few things, but I made sure practicals is added for each and every concept. You can just follow the videos in the same order. There are already close to 250 subscribers on the channel who got jobs in the DevOps and cloud field and notified just they informed me. Other than that, there can be n number of people. So my recommendation would be just follow these things in order. If you don't want to go with my playlist, it's still fine, but please pro proceed with the same order. It will give you in-depth understanding of DevOps. Personally, I learned DevOps in the same way and I would recommend everyone to follow the same order. And if you want even detailed roadmap, like Abhishek, I want to understand with details, is this tool required? Is this tool not required? Which programming language is required? Sorry, I forgot to mention one thing. After you learn all of these things, go with Python. So Python is one of the important skills again, but learn it after you learn all of these things. Okay, if you want to learn a detailed roadmap and if you want to do a lot of projects, projects are available in the playlist section for each concept. There are super advanced projects as well in AWS, Azure, as well as my DevOps playlist. 
And if you want a detailed roadmap, I will put that link in the description. I made a detailed roadmap 2024 DevOps engineer roadmap. It's a 30 minutes video where I've explained further more in detail what is required, what is not required, what is must have and what is not must have. So this is the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found it useful. And if you find it useful, please share it with your DevOps as well as cloud friends and colleagues. See you all in the next video. Take care. Bye bye.